It's about to get wild. So we're underway with Tony Price, who will lead us from the start. They all go with a single pile. I've never seen them go like this. Short straight away down into the turn by the chicane. So the Dakar Jack leads the double champion. And lead Energy Stadium Supercross at Robbie Gordon up Wakefield Street. The big margin back to Bill Hines already as they look fairly racy. Uh, Gordon on the outside here of Price at the top of Wakefield Street. Robbie Gordon trying to get to the outside, not able to make it stick. Toby Price is not a man that's easy to go around. He may not have the oh, no. Right off the bat, Paul Morris, number one, our current champion, gets a little bit into the number 410. RJ Battery struck up Greg Gardner, helps Gardner get around. That's not going to help him out as well. He had a good day yesterday, not the finish he wanted, but he ran very well. Now he went to the back of the pack. That's not going to be a good day for him. Oh, man. Can't take a trip this weekend, can he? So he'll be praying for the competition caution. So he jump on board with Ari Lindai Jr. halfway down Bartels Road. And on the charge, have a listen to his big Chevy engines rev up high into turn eight. Just lift the throttle, squeeze it through turn eight, out towards the wall, and mash it down into turn nine as Price and Gordon side by side here at the turn nine hairpin. Who's going to get the job done through here? They're still side by side, joined at the hip. The two of them are, are, are playing like gentlemen right now. We're not going to see that happen as the race goes on here. First lap or so, yeah, they're going to be mellow. Robbie. Oh, Toby Price, Whoa. all kinds of sideways, whipped it like an old school whip on a dirt bike right there. All panned out, collects himself, gets together. He proved yesterday when things get wild in the cab of that truck, he can stay calm, he can stay cool, and he did it again right there. Forgot he had an extra two wheels. On the McDonald McDonald's Preston higher entry, Gordon went to the inside, will slot back into second at the end of lap number one. So it's Price, Gordon, and Gavin Hull in the road pod colours this weekend. Behind them is Morris, who had a quiet day yesterday, the defending Speed Energy Stadium Super Truck Series champion. They head down towards the centre chicane for the second time. Now, this is the replay of what happened. The dude down the inside of Smiley. He won't be thrilled about that. Yeah, he won't be thrilled about it, but I, I personally, I don't think the dude necessarily did anything wrong. They are both over the line. Uh, Greg Gardner kind of came to the inside a little bit there. It was no one's fault. That was a racing incident. Sad part is, you know, Gardner ended up spinning around, and now he's, he's kind of out of the race for them, at least the first half of this race. And look at this. Really just drafting off one another. A little bit of shrapnel flying in the air there as we're on board with Toby Price, the McDonald's number 87. That's where you saw him earlier getting really sideways here. Off the track, hashtag dude mower. <laughs> Easy place to do it. Absolutely, as we've seen a lot of that over the years here. The truck's getting off the track a little bit right there. Toby oh. Price. Oh, Robbie Gordon runs it in deep, almost gets in the back of Price. He's to the outside trying to squeeze him. Can he make that happen? Can he get where he needs to be to hold that pass? And he does not right there. So great race out front for the lead. It's almost the same as the first lap through there. But Price holds on through turn 10, 11, 12, and across the big jump behind the back of the pits. Much better landing now for the 87. And Robbie Gordon, it's not too often you see him starting up the front in one of our races. He's on the charge with a comp caution still to come. I think this is maybe the second time in going into five years of racing we've seen Robbie starting up front. And, and you can tell these guys, both Robbie and Toby, those guys you don't normally see up front. And they're pulling a little bit of a lead right now. But you see Gavin Harlan in the road pod vehicle. He's in P3. He's not letting them go. He's keeping the, the winners, or I'm sorry, the leaders in oh. his crosshairs. <laughs> Just got the tire bundle on the inside of the chicane to Gordon and now carries a bit more momentum. Price can see this and pipes the McDonald's entry right up the middle and now the 47 oh, in the, the wall. Ball. And Jeff Hoffman has found the tire barrier and puts himself to the back of the field. He's not the first, he won't be the last. Was that contact with the teammates? It may have been contact with the teammate with the dude. It's hard to see if it was or not. It, it looks like it may, very well may have. Their teammates are both United Fiber and Data teammates, both running for live. And uh, Osland security number one of Paul, the dude Morris. I, it's hard to see, may have given his teammate a little bit of contact there and parked him into the tire wall. So uh, Jeff Hoffman, the Hoff, he's not gonna be happy with that. And meanwhile, out in front, this is what I think. Robbie Gordon is now in the lead. Just surpassed Toby Price to be out in front. But the two of those gentlemen, I think, are slowing each other up a little bit. Either that or Gavin Harlan's got a whole nother gear that nobody knows about because he caught him. He's a second faster on the last lap alone. He's going quicker on this lap. Lap three of nine. So they sweep off the streets of Adelaide and into 
the more permanent part of this circuit. You're on board with Toby Price, hustling Robbie Gordon. Coming up to one more ramp. This is really where all the ramps are on the circuit. Look at the airtime they get. And crowds either side jammed in today here at Adelaide. Absolutely. And Toby Price getting a little sideways on that ramp each time. I think it might be because our fine folks from McDonald's are sitting right there in that corporate box. Maybe he's trying to show off a little bit. Quite possibly. Now the challenge for second becomes, here comes Gavin Harlan. Put in the mood. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Gavin Harlan almost going off that ramp with just two tires on it. Just squeezing half a Toyo tire up the side of that ramp. Moving into P2. What a great aggressive pass from the young superstar. What a season he had last year. He was second on four occasions. Price isn't going to give this up without a fight as they bang panels at the top of Wakefield Street. The problem is that let's go on and get away, but that'll all change when the competition caution comes out very soon. Matty Brabham is about to join this party of three. You just took the words right out of my mouth, Matt. Right now, we're about to get into the comp caution here shortly in the Who's Who of Stadium Super Trucks, and they're making their way up to the front right now. We're sitting Gordon, Harlan, Price, Brabham, Morris. I mean, come on. It's about to really get loose here in the second half of this race, as, as if it hasn't already. <laughs> So here they come, the first four making a bit of a margin down to turn eight with Gordon. Yet to win on the streets of Adelaide. He's been on the podium several times. I, I gotta say, we haven't seen Robbie win here in Adelaide, but if he's out in front and keeps her, it's one thing to maybe catch him. Maybe catch him. But it's a whole nother deal to get around him. I mean, uh, yes, years ago when this series started, uh, Robbie Gordon was the man to beat. Now, a lot of these guys, old and young, they've figured out how to drive these trucks, how, how to put down a faster lap. So, uh, Robbie is a superstar? Absolutely. You can't take that, take that away from him, but he's not the only star in this pack of drivers right now. However, he's been racing a lot of different cars for a lot of time. Catching him one, is one thing, getting around him is another. Don't think he's not going to have his elbows up in the second half of this race. No, he doesn't fox too often, does he? Because the competition caution is out. We don't do it for the full lap anymore. It usually comes out just past turn eight to let the field stack up. So for the likes of Hoffman, this is a relief because he was some 49 seconds behind the race leader as we get set for the second half of racing. In race two of this weekend's round of the Speed Energy Stadium Super Trucks. Back on the streets of Adelaide for the fourth year. Bit of a break before our next race in Long Beach in California. Very busy second half of the year coming up with Detroit, Texas. And a first visit to Road America later in the year. So we're back underway with Gordon, Harlan and Price, your top three, down to the chicane. This is where it's all going to unfold here. Like I said, you've got the most talented drivers in the series right up in front. This is the way it's supposed to be. And so that being said, are they going to drive that way? Are they all going to be gentlemen? Or are they going to move and shake and push each other around? I think it's going to be a combination of each. We're definitely going to be slapping some paint. The mechanics are hoping they don't do any of that because it gives them an easier night than they had <laughs> last night. These are race car drivers. Into turn five we go. Gordon and Harlan. Harlan's still searching for his first ever race win in Speed Energy Stadium Super Trucks. He needs an overall with that Road Pod sponsored truck who is here, right here, watching, pushing his driver. So the number 55 Gavin Harlan, that Road Pod vehicle, sitting in a good spot right now. But does the young man, is his bag of tricks deep enough to pull a move and get around Robbie Gordon? Yes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I yes, think they did. are. But Gordon won't give up without a fight. This is Ari Leindyke Jr. on board with. Up ahead is Blade Hildebrand. Oh, oh Price. He's got it wrong down the bottom. And we drop, he'll drop back a couple of positions here. Toby Price, I thought, was going to give up that spot to Osland security number one of Paul the Dude Morris. He was able to stay in front of him, but just threw it away there. I don't know if he had any help with that or not, but he's certainly not going to be happy with the way that just ended up. How quickly it can change for the Dakar champion. And now he drops to the back of the bus in that McDonald's Preston higher entry. Talking about Preston Hire, they're going to join Matty Brabham as a bit of a naming rights support for the rest of the season with a launch of Preston Rentals over in North America. Matty Brabham, the new uh, ambassador in North America and Australia for Preston Hires. And look at oh, all on his up. own. Back and forth, <laughs> just trying to hold together. Gets around, doesn't spin out, almost lets the dude shut the door on him but not able to make that pass stick. And here, all by his lonesome, smokes the tires off. Oh, eh, you know what, maybe I should eat the, my own words on that one. He may have got a little assistance. 
So, dude, that's the second time we've seen the dude get into someone a little bit. Not driving dirty, but being very aggressive. So we saw him, he was not happy with yesterday's finish at all. And so uh, he's doing what he's got to do to make it happen. And there is Blade Hildebrand says, hello, I'm right here. I'm ready to join the party. A party of one, wasn't on the exit of the Adelaide hairpin. So race control just informing. There'll be one to go at the end of this as Harlan, the replay, finds the grass and opening the door for Matt Brabham. It's through the sweeper. What's Matt Brabham got for us? Past the Shannon's insurance speed cam and down to turn number nine. We're going to go a little bit shorter here, so it's go time from this point. And you can throw a blanket over the top three, and now Robbie Gordon, the Speed Energy Menards number seven, Road Pod number 55 of Gavin Harlan at P2. Matty Brabham's in the Debilibus. Hawk Performance Truck right behind him. Second place in points in 2017. Chomping at the bit to get as many points as he can throughout the season. He wants to be the new champion for 2018. Nice landing for Harlan. His second full season. He did some guest appearances prior to 2017. Gordon defending. Brabham on the back. Still searching for his first win on the streets of Adelaide. He's been on the podium too many times without the win that he'd want to care about. But now he has the chance with one lap to go. White flag is out. This is where it all unfolds. This is where you put all your cards on the table. You see real violent getting through that section there. All three of our top guys up in front, really, really pushing hard. They're leaving the rest of the pack. Paul and Dude Morris, you can see him in the picture there. He's in a solid P4 right now. I don't believe he has enough time in this race with less than a full lap to go to catch our leaders here. Something crazy would have to happen, and God knows, that, that would never happen here in an SST race. <laughs> it's far from sorted through the staircase. Brabham, I think he's got more momentum than Gavin Harlan just needs that position to open up. And here it comes as he goes side by side for the man from Mesa, Arizona. They hit the Toyo tires ramp for the final time. And Brabham will need to lock onto the back of Harlan through turn eight and line him up for turn nine. Well, that's just it, Robbie Gordon. He's starting to pull a bit of a lead because Brabham and Harlan are slowing each other down in this battle right here. And of course, going down through that fast section, these trucks punch a hole in the air. So the draft is important. Robbie wasn't part of that, but yet was able to keep his lead as they just tuck him in right now, just a few feet, or I should say a few meters apart from one another right now. So Gavin Harlan and Matt Brabham, they need to concentrate on getting past Robbie Gordon instead of just messing with each other right now and slowing each other down. Oh, Harlan gave him enough room down there at turn 11 on Matty Brabham. They hit the ramp. Gordon has been released from this battling pair behind. Up to the ramp, the Toyo tires ran for the final time. Robbie Gordon tips it in. He's never won on the streets of Adelaide. He's had six podiums coming into today's race. He finished second on three occasions in the first year, but today, Robbie Gordon wins race number two, and it's on in the background with Blade Hildebrand. Gordon will collect the win, Harlan second, Matty Brabham will get home for third, and more points towards his series. As always, Stadium Super Trucks never disappoints. Great race there, a lot of crazy action. But hey, the who's who in Stadium Super Trucks, and yes, Gavin Harlan, I am putting you in that group of, of uh, drivers here. We're out in front, running well. Robbie Gordon has run this since the inception of the series. Matt Bravo with a couple full-time uh, years with us now. Gavin Harlan moved last year. He's got the speed he's someone to contend with. And now all of a sudden, uh, those three are up front. So great run for them, gentlemen. Seventh different winner here on the streets of Adelaide. Robbie Gordon getting by half a second from Gavin Harlan. Matt Brabham was third. Then Paul Morris, Ari Leindijk Jr. home for fifth. Then Travis Milburn, Greg Gardner, Cole Potts got home for eighth. He was yesterday's race winner. Blade Hildebrand and Toby Price with Bill Hines at the back of the field there. I think he can call his jets and worry about the concert coming up tonight. And here it comes. The Gordon Expression Session starts. Picks up his first ever win here on the streets of Adelaide and goes in tomorrow as the points leader for the final race. That was a high-speed two-wheel action right there. Yeah. We've seen him do it a lot, kind of just cruising around the course, but not up there just frapping up gears on two wheels there. That was impressive. As here we are on board right now, I believe with, I don't know, I can't tell if it's Toby Price or Ari Leyendike. Cool shot right there. So as those 360 cameras getting the full view right there. Thoroughly enjoyed race number two. They're heading back into the pits.